I'm your host, Renee Shaw, coming to you from downtown Pikeville as we take Kentucky Edition on the road. Today, I had the opportunity to walk around downtown Pikeville. It's a small, beautiful, quaint little town with an active Main Street area where there's lots of businesses. And there's also a very colorful art exhibit called Umbrella Alley, and you can see why. I love this. We also got to tour the campus of the University of Pikeville, which is home to the only college of optometry in Kentucky. The optometry school graduated their first class in 2020. Uh, they opened four years before that. And they've graduated several classes now and are very strong and doing really well. We are blessed in, in one regard with the optometry college because Kentucky has one of the broadest scope of practice for optometrists in the nation. Mm -hmm. So we have students from all around the United States who come here because they can learn to do things that they can't learn in their home state, mm -hmm. but that someday might be legal in their home state as laws begin to change. So it's a, it's a big advantage for us to have that here in the Commonwealth. Are these students who are graduating from these very distinctive colleges, are they living and working and serving in Appalachian or underserved regions? So we have been number one or number two in rural serving medicine for the last 10 years or so. And uh, most of our students uh, go into primary care, which is the largest need for medical students in the United States. And so we're meeting the need both in terms of rural medicine and also in terms of primary care. The optometry college is a little new. We don't have those stats quite as well nailed down, but most of those students do end up going to rural medicine, uh, which is fantastic. We think that's important for us, and they take care of some of Kentucky's neediest uh, people. Well, we do know that Kentucky as a whole has some severe health challenges, mm -hmm. and a lot of that does reside in the Appalachian Eastern Kentucky region. Sure. How have you seen UPIKE try to elevate the health status of not just Appalachian Kentucky, but across the state? You know, we, I could show you cluster maps that would indicate exactly where our graduates practice. And our medical school, school graduates tend to cluster around Kentucky, specifically Eastern Kentucky, West Virginia, and Virginia. So we have definitely impacted the way medicine is delivered here in the most rural and, and most needy parts of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. But I could take it one step further, and that's by talking about our nursing program. Uh, when, when I arrived here almost eight years ago, the nursing program had around 30 students in each class, and we're now approved for over 80 students in each class and we're running three cohorts of classes and not just one. So it's a program that's grown dramatically. That's in, in part due to a great partnership that we have with the local hospital, Pikeville Medical Center. And, and that program has just exploded over the last few years with the needs that are found here in Eastern Kentucky and of course throughout Kentucky. Where next do you wanna take U Pike? Ooh, good question. Uh, so, you know, we're always looking at program development trying to figure out what the next need will be in the region, and then of course trying to figure out how to meet that need to the very best of our ability. Uh, so there are a variety of educational programs that we're looking at, most of them in the healthcare space, mm -hmm. uh, some of them in agriculture and in, in some areas like that as well. So we're taking a look at all of those things and trying to identify specifically what do we need to do next right. so that we position the people of Eastern Kentucky in a way that they will be ready for the next boom in the economy. More great stories like that coming your way on Mondays. Here's a sneak peek at the Main Street we'll be visiting next. Can you identify it? Guess the town in the comments below and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss Mondays on Main. We'll see you next Monday. Take really good care.